Hey everyone, that's Steven here. So today I'm just making a video to, um, this is more of an explainer video on osmosis and then also just a setup video on how to use it. But basically to give you a quick background on osmosis, it is one of the um, premier DEXs on the Cosmos SDK chains. And <clears throat> Um, you can basically think of it as like the Uniswap for all these Cosmos chains. And what the Cosmos chains are, are chains like Terra, um, Luna chain. Um, <clears throat> there's also things like Kava and a bunch of other chains. And the reason there's so many chains that can interact with each other right now um, that are Cosmos based is because Cosmos SDK is basically um, this software that a lot of companies uses to build out their own blockchains. Terra was built with the Cosmos SDK and so on and so forth. So the interesting thing about Osmosis is that it's sort of like Uniswap where you can make trades between assets, but you can also trade assets between chains. So it's sort of like a bridge plus DEX combined. And so hopefully that quick summary is helpful. Let me know in the comments below if um, my explanation wasn't that great or if there's anything I can improve on that or if you have any questions. But yeah, otherwise I'm just gonna t uh, get into it and show you guys how to kind of get set up. So right here I'm on Osmosis. I'll put the link to this below. And as you can see, it is very similar to a, to a traditional deck so you can swap around. Um, but the thing I wanted to show right now is actually their pool. So if you put <clears throat> assets onto Osmosis to stake for others to trade, um, you get some pretty good rewards right now. So I'm interested in the Luna ones right now. So like the Luna UST and potentially the Luna Atom one, um, as you can see over here, and the APRs are still pretty great, double digit APRs, very high double digit APRs, right? Um, and so to kind of get started on using Osmosis, you have to download this wallet called the Kepler wallet over here. And uh, Kepler is very similar to MetaMask. And this wallet is primarily for Cosmos based chains. Um, and Osmosis uses this wallet uh, at the moment. So let's get it set up. So um, once you install the Chrome extension, just go ahead and set it up over here. You can click create a new account and it'll generate a new 12 word Mnemonic. Um, to set this up, I'm gonna just import an existing one. So be right back. So now I have my Kepler wallet set up. Um, with a little bit of Atom right now. Um, but yeah, the you'll probably need to deposit some over here into your um, Kepler wallet. Um, but before we go into the depositing assets onto there, let's connect it up with Osmosis first. So we can come over here, click connect, Kepler wallet. Let's see if So um, just click connect wallet over here into the Kepler wallet and then it should pop up this pop up and see if we're connected now. And yeah, so it shows up that we are connected to the wallet now. So now um, what if you have assets on Terra, um, like I do, um, then what you would want to do is click over here um, on their main page to connect the <clears throat> Terra IBC and just click approve. And when that's ready, what you should see in your Kepler wallet is that you can you now see, so initially it'd be on Cosmos, you now see a section for Terra, you click on that. And then now you'll have a address that you can use to send um, funds from your Terra wallet into this wallet over here. And, um, and then you can just use Osmosis to transfer from uh, the Terra Kepler wallet over to the Osmosis Kepler wallet. 
And the reason you need to do these multiple deposits is because Osmosis is actually on its own blockchain. Um, it was built with the Cosmos SDK, but it's actually a separate blockchain. So you got to like bridge over the assets from, um, from where you have the assets over to Osmosis. Um, so I have assets on ter the Terra blockchain, so I'm just going to deposit some Luna or UST into this Terra wallet over here. I'm a Kepler. Okay, so I just sent over a little bit of Luna into this wallet from my account, uh, from my other Terra wallet. Um, I did that using the Terra station, um, so you can just do that. Um, and once you have some assets onto one chain on Osmosis, um, and for context on using this, if you use uh, like an exchange, like KuCoin, you can also just buy some Luna on there and plop it into your Kepler wallet as well. Just copy this address. Uh, make sure you're on the Terra chain uh, on Kepler and you'll, it'll go into this wallet. And then um, once you have some assets in here, let's go back to the IBC section, click this. And you can just set the amount over here. And what this will do is it'll send it to, it'll bridge the Luna from the Terra chain over to the Osmosis chain. So let's see if this loads. So it just takes a little while to load and then I'm just gonna approve this. So now the transaction has confirmed and if I check my wallet, you can see my Luna from the Terra chain is gone. And now let's go to Osmosis and it now has um, the Luna that I had previously. And then to provide LP, we're just going to have to sell about half of it. Half of it here. Swap. And then now once we have both, we're gonna go over to the Luna pool and deposit some into here. I just noticed over here that you can also do a single asset LP. So if you want to just not sell the Luna, you could also do that. And let's see. Now that I have some LP tokens, let's see what it says over here. And now you can see I have about $91 worth of the LP tokens. And then we're gonna go to start earning to stake the LP tokens to get some osmosis rewards. And yeah, and that's about it to start earning, earning osmosis tokens over here. And yeah, so let me know in the, I'm just gonna swap it back out. Yeah, so I'm back now. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions or any videos you guys want me to do more of. Um, the yields on Osmosis are still pretty great right now, so it's a good time to just get some of the Osmosis tokens, I think, um, if you're staking in there. And 
There's also a lot of other chains launching using the Cosmos SDK, which is really fascinating. Um, so we'll see what happens there. I think Cosmos is one of those super underrated um, kind of software tools right now because it allows you to spin up a blockchain very, very easily. And the development environment is very straightforward. Um, so like Ethereum has Solidity and Cosmos has um, what they call Cosm Wasm smart contracts, which is actually pretty straightforward as well. Um, a little bit less easy to program with compared to Solidity, but not a lot harder. So um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, let me know what you guys think on this video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, or if there's any issues with this video, let me know. Um, it helps me get more aware of what to improve on. Thanks. See you on the next one, guys.